All right, hey friends, I just got user space debugging working with XV6, and I'm literally just following um, this instructions, basically, <laughs> that I Googled about how to do this. So I'm running it in um, the debugger with KimuGDB. Again, that's already set up by their build system. I did not do anything. I'm just running commands. Um, and then you can just run um, the GDB with the tool chain. And XV6 comes with a uh, GDB init. You just run the GDB and it automatically connects to the running uh, Quemu instance. And then you can do stuff like, um, like step through the kernel, like, um, oops, break on the exec system call. Um, anyway, if this is the implementation of the exec syscall, again, I literally did not write any code here, but we can set a breakpoint in exec and then um, we can continue in GDB. And then um, we can see that the breakpoint is actually already hit because the kernel is executing the init system. So let's just continue. And then we can see that our breakpoint is hit again because the kernel is executing the, the shell because that's what the init system executes. So let's continue again. So finally, we get through and we're up and running. So the shell is running. So that's normal kernel debugging. I'm breaking on a breakpoint in the kernel. Now let's say I want to um, debug a user space program. What I can do is I need to kind of get back control into GDP with a control C. I can do file. And um, let's say I want to debug the LS program. So I can do that, import the symbol table. But now I can break on the format name function, which is format name, which is just, which is just a function inside LS. And it can find it, which is cool. If it loads the LS binary, it knows the symbols. It can, I can break on that even. And I can um, continue. And then if I go ahead, and if I just, I'm stepping through it, and it, you can see that it's slowly printing out stuff. So this runs for every file in the directory listing. I can just continue it. Aha, uh -huh. so I can dis, I can uh, disable my breakpoints, and it just runs all the way through. So now what I want to do is try debugging my custom C++ application that I added in the last video. So I can just go and load the symbols for test CPP, and I can load the symbol table. And then I can um, break on main, I suppose. Yeah. Um, and then if I execute, then I can contend to breakpoint hit now. We can um, just do the listing. We can look at the disassembly. Um, we can see that it just kind of does a print F and then exit, which is basically just what um, the test CPP program does. It's, it's super simple. And so we can actually see that the compiler inlined some stuff, which I'm a little bit surprised by. I didn't think I was running with any optimizations, but, um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what's going on. I'm just going to go through here. Yeah, we're definitely, we're definitely running there. And so, yeah, that's it. We are debugging in user space.